Hi, it's Lily. It's episode 4 of 3 lessons in 3 minutes. Today, I'm going to talk about lessons that we can learn from the Wright brothers. Who are the Wright brothers? Orville and Wilbur Wright were American brothers, inventors, and aviation pioneers who are credited with inventing and building the first successful airplane. It all started in 1878 when their father, who traveled a lot, brought home a toy helicopter which was based on an invention by a French aeronautical pioneer. The toy was made of bamboo and paper and a rubber band and the two brothers played with it a lot until it broke and then they built their own. They pointed to their experience with this toy as the initial spark of their interest in flying. Both brothers attended high school but neither received a diploma. They gained the mechanical skills essential for their success by working for years in their shop with bicycle, motors, and other machineries. It took passion, determination, and a lot of learning to make the first flight. So let's talk about the three lessons that I decided to share with all of you today. Lesson number one. Wilbur once said, the best dividends on the labor invested have invariably come from seeking more knowledge rather than more power. This quote from Wilbur provides an interesting insight into the development of some of the earliest planes. Each new model often came with more powerful engines, but that's not where the biggest improvements came from. Instead, discovering a new scientific design resulted in better planes. So, hard work yields the best results only if you are working on the right thing. So what Wilbur Wright meant was that effort spent on widening your knowledge or finding new ways to do things often pay off better than effort spent in looking for more powerful, more expensive or higher grade ingredients to your project. So remember, knowledge is power. Lesson number two, don't be afraid to blow up the status quo. At the time of the Wright brothers testing, there was very little known about aerodynamics or flight in general. However, previous testers like Otto Lilento made great strides in basing flight from observing birds, and the data tables that he collected became a basis for all men pursuing flight, including the Wright brothers. But at some point, the data in the tables failed and it didn't work out exactly as it should, and the Wright brothers had to throw out the tables and start from scratch. If they were not willing to challenge or blow up uh, what was generally accepted as the way to do things, they would not have been able to achieve flight. So looking at our generation, Steve Jobs started the touch screen industry for mobile phones and tablets. He blew up the status quo and now there's no going back to button phones. Entrepreneurs should be willing to challenge the status quo and not let your experience or commonly accepted rules hold you back from creating something bigger and better. Lesson number three, true learning only comes through experimentation. The brothers, they were willing to strap themselves into a machine that is untested for the sake of collecting data, learning and adjusting to achieve success. This is what made the Wright brothers different from the rest. They did not sit and plan for perfection before they start doing things. If they had done that, they might have never tested their first flight. True learning only comes through experimentation. So whatever you want to be good at, whatever you want to do, don't wait until the perfect condition. Don't wait until you've got the perfect plan. Don't wait until you have planned and think that, you, okay, you're going to get a very good outcome. You're going to get the best outcome. Don't wait until you can get the best outcome in your plan. you got to start doing it. you got to start experimenting so that you can adjust learn, adapt along the way, and in the end, you will achieve what you want to achieve. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode for more 3 lessons in 3 minutes. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.